so here we've got a histogram already drawn for us and we are being asked to find some very simple information in theory but it's a little bit more tricky on a histogram so we've got some heights of sunflowers that are represented on this histogram just here we want to find the median lower quartile upper quartile and the interquartile range now there's no table to accompany this there's nothing so we have to do everything ourselves and that's why it makes it a little bit tricky but all we need is this little formula triangle here so we've been using the formula straight but i've popped it in a triangle today just to make our lives a little bit easier so we know that to work out frequency density we do frequency divided by the class width and we can rearrange this anyway to get the information we want okay so the first thing i want to fill in on my on my histogram to make my life a little bit easier is the frequency of each bar so i know that to work out frequency i do frequency density and i multiply it by the class width so i'm just going to do that for all of these so the class width here is 75 so 75 times my frequency density of 0 0.2 which is 15 so we've got 15 flowers sunflowers in that block Class width here is 2550 and my frequency density is 0 0.4. So if I do 50 times 0 0.4, that means that there are 20 sunflowers in that block. This block, my frequency, dens um, frequency density is 0 0.5 and my class width is 25. So I'm going to do 25 times 0 0.5, which gives us, I'm going to write sideways for this one, 12.5 sunflowers in that one and my last bar goes between 150 and 250 so there's 100 centimeters as a class width and it's going up to a frequency density of 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.125 so again there's 12.5 sunflowers in that class OK, so now I've got all of that information, I need to work out how many sunflowers I've got all together, because that's always how we go about finding the median, isn't it? So to work out that, I'm going to do the total frequency. So total frequency is going to be all of these bars added together. 15 plus 20, 12.5, 12.5, and that gives me 60 altogether. Now, this then tells us that the median sunflower is going to be in the class that contains the 30th sunflower, because that's halfway, isn't it? So, we need to find, so I'm just going to underline this just so I remember, we've got to find the class that contains the 30th sunflower. Now, all we do is just count. So 15 sunflowers. Oh, and in here there's 20. So altogether I'm up to 35. And if I need the 30th, must be in here somewhere. So we know that the class that it's in is between 75 and 125 centimetres tall. So we already know it's going to be in the range of 75 to 125 centimetres. However, that's not enough. We actually need to work out a proper estimate for the median because that's what it's asked us up here. So now we've done this, that's our rough starting point. I need to work out just how far into this bar that 120, oh, sorry, that 30th sunflower lies. So if that's 15, I need to get up to 30. I need to count in. 15 more in here don't I and I'm just going to jot that down and circle it okay but I need to work out how wide that would take it so how far into this bar is the 15th flower so to do that I'm going to work out the width I need so I'm going to come back to this I'm just going to move this down back to this triangle because now I'm working out width so I'm going to do frequency divided by frequency density so I already know that I'm after 15 sunflowers. That's my frequency. And I also know that the height of this bar is my frequency density. So it's 0 0.4. So to work out 
how far in I go, I'm just going to do 15 divided by 0 0.4, which gives me 37.5. And that tells me that if I go 37.5 into here, that's exactly where my estimate is going to be for my median. So I'm just going to draw that in on here. So I know that each little tiny square is worth 5, so 37.5. So that's 25, that's 30, you can't see me, that's 30, so that's 37, 25, 30, 35, 37.5 is there. Now if I've done that correctly, I should have on this side a total of 30 things. And on this side, a total of 30 things. And I can work that out. So 15 plus 15 is 30. 12 plus 5 plus 12 plus 5 plus 5 also gives me 30. So that's spot on. So now to work out my actual estimate, I come back to this. So I've got the lower bit of the bar is 75 centimetres. So my median is going to be about 75 because we know that's the least it could be plus on this width that we've worked out, which gives me a median of 112.5 centimetres. I'm going to change that to an approximately sign because it's not an accurate estimate because it is grouped data. Okay, So that's how we find the median of from a histogram. Now to work out the interquartile range, we're going to be using a similar type of strategy. So we know that the 30th is in the middle, so the lower quartile is going to be the 15th thing. And the upper quartile is going to be the 45th thing. So luckily for us, this first bar is done for us. We already know that the lower quartile, look, it's there, there's 15 things there, that's the lower quartile. So the lower quartile for the height of this, these sunflowers is already 75 centimetres. Now the upper quartile, we need to do some counting. So we've got 35 and we need to get up to 45. So we need to go 10 into here. So we're going to come back to doing what we did with the median. So I need to find, it's going to be in the class, 125 to 150. And I need 10 in there. So I'm 15 to 35, yeah, I need 10 more in here. So my width is 10 divided by my class frequency density of 0 0.5. So 10 divided by 0 0.5 gives me 20. So like we did with the median, that tells me how far in on the scale that we've got. So it's 20 more than the lower limit of that bar. So our upper quartile is 145 centimetres. So I'm just going to highlight those bits of information for you. So we've got our estimate for our median is 125. Our lower quartile is given, it's 75. And our upper quartile, we've just worked out, is 145. So I can now fill that in on my question. Median, 112.5 centimetres. Lower quartile, 75 centimetres. Upper quartile, 145 centimetres. Now interquartile range is the biggest one, take away the smallest one for the quartiles, which gives me 70 centimetres. So the interquartile range for these sunflowers is 70. And that is everything.